My name is uh, Michael Undi. I'm the animal scientist here at Central Grasslands. Today I'm going to talk about uh, uh, determining what grazing animals are eating on uh, rangelands. Uh, if, 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 if you're talking about feeding and you compare uh, housed animals such as dairy cattle and, and, and uh, feedlot uh, cattle and grazing animals, one of the major differences is that uh, for housed animals such as feedlot and dairy animals, we know exactly what they are eating, we know how much they are eating, and we know the quality of the diet they are, they are eating, because we are providing that diet to, uh, to those animals. Now, when it comes to grazing animals, no man will know uh, the quality of, 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 of uh, forage on pasture, and will know how much forage is available for, 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 for the cattle to eat. But what we don't know is we don't know how much they are eating on pasture, we don't know uh, the, the, the diet that they're selecting on pasture, uh, because it's very, uh, the, the, the nature of, of, uh, of grazing pastures is such that it's very difficult to, to, to uh, obtain such information. There are many methods that have been used on grazing lands to try to find out what uh, grazing cattle are uh, consuming. And that includes methods such as even following grazing animals and trying to find out what they're what they eating. But the most common methods are those which, where, where, where you collect fecal samples and then you, you analyze those fecal samples to try to find out what the grazing animals are eating. And the, the, the theory behind that is that in, in fecal samples you have a lot of undigested plant parts which will tell you uh, 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 what, what the animals are selecting. So we are, we are actually uh, right now um, trying to determine what uh, uh, cattle are eating on, on pastures right here at Central Grasslands. One, what, the, what, the, what they're selecting on grazing uh, pastures and the quality of the diet that they're, 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 that they're eating. In that, in that case, we are, we are looking at if we have different pasture treatments, do they select the same diet? So we are collecting our fecal samples from continuously grazed pastures, rotationally grazed pastures, and uh, patch burned uh, pastures. This, this, these are treatments that have been ongoing for a while uh, here at Central Grasslands. And they are multi, it's a multi-system uh, uh, study which is collecting a lot of data. So we just imposed our study right onto those uh, uh, systems. We are also collecting uh, fecal samples at different times of, of, uh, of, of the season, starting in early, uh, in early June into late May. So once we collect those, those, those fecal samples, we are, we, are, we are using two methods to try to answer the question what are these uh, uh, grazing cattle consuming um, at different times of the year? And we are using two methods. One is called uh, fecal uh, NRS profiling. This is simply just collecting the fecal samples and sending them for near infrared analysis. What, and, and that will tell us the quality of, of, of diet that they are consuming. This is not a new technology, it's been going on for a while. And, and, and the nice thing with near infrared uh, uh, profiling is you get your results very quickly because it's a very rapid method. And also the method is becoming more, more and more uh, 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 accurate as more samples are going into the uh, uh, equations. To try to find out what the animals are selecting when they're grazing, we're using a, a, a newer uh, methodol methodology which is called uh, fecal um, uh, DNA barcoding. So what, what is basically happening is we are, uh, Fecal, fecal samples have a lot of plant fragments, and those pl plant fragments, when you, when you, when you uh, uh, submit them for DNA analysis, they will tell you the composition of the, 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 the feed that these animals on grazing animals uh, were, 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 were eating on pasture. This is a, a pretty new uh, uh, method, I think in the last 20 years or so, but it's becoming very popular because it will tell us the composition of the of, 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 of the, the, the the forages that the animals are eating when they're grazing, um, so that that is that is very important, and also, uh, this method also has been used uh, a lot now in the last 20 years, even for wildlife to try to find out what wildlife are eating in, in, in uh, when they're grazing out uh, uh, in, in in the forest. So these are the two methods uh, that, that we're using. Uh, so far, we have collected samples uh, for. Uh, in two sessions, in early June and, and, and mid-July. We are going to collect some in August and in, uh, in, in September. 
we are hoping that uh, this work will give us insight into what, uh, whether, whether we, um, when cattle are grazing in these different uh, 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 grazing systems, whether, whether they select the same type of feed and whether they collect the same uh, uh, quality of diet. Uh, thanks.